fucking know. Uh, we are going to pick up one of those dreaded loads that everyone just loves so much. Come on across there, buddy. We are going to pick up a hot cube. Right up the road. Right up there on the right. This will be our get us back to the house load. That has just a little bit of profit in it. Not very much. It's uh it's paying it's paying okay. It would be paying worse, and I probably would be deadheading if it weren't for, you know, grabbing this for the customer. Not having to go through a broker. So, last time I hauled one, it was actually for a de decent rate through the broker. And uh, when I got there, they, you know, I've met the guy a couple times uh, when I was looking at containers for my house and uh, but anyway I, I, I pulled in we got unloaded he was like uh, hey how about next time you're in Houston you just call me and then I'll pay you what I pay the broker okay I, I'm not gonna argue with that so, uh, so yeah that's what we're doing I knew I was coming in. I called him yesterday and I was I said, hey, uh I'll be empty in Houston. I said I'll be empty in Houston uh tomorrow. You need uh you need a container? And he's like, yeah, let me call over there real quick. I'll get a release number for you. And uh get you get you one you can you can bring back to me like, all right no problem so that's what we're here doing pull forward to stop sign and form two lines check in real quick get this thing loaded up and uh, start heading to the house Man, I'm uh, the wheels are turning in my head a little bit. Yeah, it's gonna be a little tight. The mind of a businessman. I'm thinking, start buying and selling containers when I can deliver them I don't know I kind of talked to him just a minute ago and got some pricing on all the different boxes and they gave me their standard pricing and then I asked about uh What about what about some wholesale deals? You know, buying bulk. And he's like, oh yeah, we can work something out. So if I can get it for a decent price, you know, like I said, normally a lot of times when I come into back into Texas, I'm coming back into Houston. So if I can come back into Houston and pick up a container and take it to the house, you know, and 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 sell it for a decent price then I don't have to worry about taking a iffy load back to San Antonio because I'd be taking a container back to San Antonio and making money off of it plus a delivery fee you know well all inclusive price right sell you this container for this much with delivery up to this many miles and then after this many miles you know it's this much more 
I don't know. Maybe, maybe not a bad business idea to supplement this. Because when I'm home during the week, like if I take a week off, you know, the wife's at work, kids are at, in school. Well, they won't be this summer, but generally the kids are in school. So during the day, I can still work without missing, you know, missing family time. So, I don't know. Man, it has got hot down here. I think when I get home, I'm gonna have to go buy me some Boudreaux's butt paste. Boudreaux's butt paste for all your chafing needs. <laughs> Keep some cornstarch in here. That way when I sweat, and the dingleberries get sweaty. You just squat down and get some of that cornstarch in like the the uh, baby powder type bottle where you just kind of squeeze it and it just puffs a breath of fresh cornstarch everywhere. Dries you up. That's what I'm thinking. <sighs> and I need to figure out... I, I figured I'd... Yeah, I just keep talking let y'all watch this little forklift guy work. Pretty neat watching it. Watching to move containers around, but uh, dang it, I squirreled. Now I forgot what I was talking about. What was I talking about, guys? I don't want to stop at the stop the video and go back and play back the video so I can remember, because then yeah, it's gonna cut off the container forklift doing what he's doing. Anyway, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, I, it, it sounds like it'd be a pretty decent business idea. You know? I don't have to rely on it by itself to sustain me. You know, I, I'm, I sustain myself with the trucking business. But I mean, if I could pick one of these up, take it to the house, drop it off, I got plenty of room at the house. My dad might end up hating me, but uh, turning the uh, turning the property into a storage yard. But I got plenty of room at the house. I just start stacking containers and selling them. When I'm home for a week, you know, plan three, four, five deliveries during that week. Makes a profit off of it. But you know what? One thing I, I'm not accounting for is I'm fixing to be getting rid of this trailer. <sighs> so, yeah, that's that that would kind of suck. That would kind of eat into that idea. But I could buy a container trailer with the rollers on it and just keep that at the house. I don't know. Yeah, it's something to think about. I believe, and I haven't, I haven't reached the goal yet, but I believe, I'm a firm believer in the five-finger uh, income. I guess that's what I call it. Yeah, I believe everyone should have five streams of income. That way, if you ever lose an eight, one or two incomes, you have other incomes still backing you up.
get back on 10 going westbound. And then we'll be headed that way. Hopefully, hopefully I can make it through Houston before uh, before we get hit with that lunchtime traffic. Well, we are done. Done with this one. Get unloaded, COD. If I would have took this from a broker, they would have took about all oh, 35%, roughly 40% of it. Which is terrible. That's, that's what he was asking me. He's like, man, Who'd you use last time? And I told him. And uh, he's like, how much, what did they pay you? And I told him that too. And he's like, golly, they are raping y'all. I was like, yeah, they generally do on containers. I was like, and I told him, I was like, normally, you know, if I come out of Houston, I don't take containers. If, uh, Anything I did at home, I'll let the non CDO guys have it for you know 400 450 bucks, is what containers normally try to go out of Houston for to San Antonio. And I'm not doing that, I will not do that. I will drive this sucker to the house empty, it's not worth my time. Yeah, it would pay for fuel, most definitely. But it ain't going to pay for my time. And my time's worth something. And if they're not going to pay for my time, I'm just going to roll on to the house. My time's better spent at the house than chaining and strapping a, a container. So, anyway, we're going to run down here and get ODB washed. I haven't washed her since I've been on the road. I'm not wanting to pay these $80, $90 wash bills when I can wash it better for about 40 bucks. So, anyway, y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to my rambling earlier. We'll holler, holler at y'all at the, on the, uh, the, the, the we will holler at y'all on the next video. How's that sound? That's a little better. Later, everyone.